Hello, I'm Professor Flint, and normally I'd be digging somewhere looking for evidence of extinct animals like dinosaurs, ichthyosaurs, and plesiosaurs. <laughs> Not that you'd find any of them around here. Oh my goodness, wait a minute! Wait a minute! Aren't you supposed to be extinct? <laughs> right. Thank you. But today, I'm on the lookout for animals that are still with us. Animals that you might find, say, maybe as you walk along the beach. Oh, what's that? Oh, what do you think I've got here then, eh? I think I know what it is. But where would I go to find out? Uh, excuse me. Excuse me! It, what? Who? What? Where? Excuse me. Uh, have you ever been to the Marine Discovery Centre? No. No, I haven't. No. Is it far? As it happens now, nah, it's not that far at all. Head toward Henley Beach and you'll be there soon enough. All right then. Okay, well, um, I'll be off. Ha! Ah, humans. I'll never understand them. Funny little things. <laughs> oh, oh, what's that? Mine, 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 mine. Well, this is the spot. Let's go inside. Of course, one of the best ways of finding out about our sea life and our coast is to find out from the people who have lived alongside it for thousands of years. Look! It's one of these. Oh, Colonel, there you are. Oh, I've noticed you've got one of these down there. What is it? Ah, yes, so this is what we call Nakarumuka, and that means shark egg. Shark so egg? this is our Port Jackson shark egg. A Port Jackson shark, right. I'll look for that afterwards, but first. Um, what's something you can tell us about the Ghana Learning Station? Ah, oh, well, Professor, I am able to tell you the story about the emu. Um, if we take a look down here, we can see that there are all these burn markings in the wood. And they are all just representing our footprints that we have here. They are the emu right there going all the way down, tracking his way to the water hole that we have in the middle, in between each footprint. Next up, what do we have here? So with this and these, you can learn all kinds of things, including the fact that if you're going to handle fish, you need to wear gloves. Ah, whenever you hear that bell, time to move off to the next station. Oh, now let me see, what do we have here? So what this is doing is showing us how much difference a different shower head can make to the amount of water that we use when we're having a shower. Which one do you think uses the most water? Beach combing's that thing where you wander along the beach and you have a look out for all kinds of things that you might find on the sand. Now in this location, what happens is you have a look and you see what you can find in terms of what it might look like when it's on the beach, but you also get to find out, if you can match it right, what the animal looked like when it was alive. And here's the thing, there's some pretty cool stuff wherever you look here in the Marine Discovery Centre. Oh, good eye, Professor. It's me. Are you looking for a Port Jackson shark by any chance? Oh, hello. As a matter of fact, I am. Well, if you have a look at all the pictures on this wall, you'll find out which one's the Port Jackson shark. And then you go searching in the aquariums. Brilliant. Thanks for your help. Right. Now I know what it looks like. Let's go and find it. That's it, just there. Yep, that's a Port Jackson shark, all right. Wherever you go here in the Marine Discovery Center, there's always something to see, always something to do. It, oh, it's that bell again. This is a video microscope, and what it does, it allows us to look at all of the things on this table close up. Nothing like a couple of really cool computer games. <laughs> Let's see how they work. 
Well, this one is all about catching the right size and the right number of fish. While this one is all about matching the right bit with the right fish. Well, look at all these puppets. <laughs> Time to play. Hello, hello, somebody talk to me. Uh, g'day, here you go. Can I have a bit of quiet? I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> Sorry, back to sleep you go. Before you check out the amazing stuff around here though, you're going to go out there to the beach on an amazing journey of discovery. Beachcombing is a little bit like diving, but without getting wet. It involves walking along the beach, using your eyes and seeing what you can find. Don't let your adult leader go for a swim or climb on the rocks. That's right, I often find that adult humans are always getting in trouble. If you don't keep an eye on them. What do you mean grown-ups are always getting into trouble? <laughs> so enjoy your time here at the Marine Discoverer Centre. And remember, the things that you'll find on the beach and the things that you'll find all around the Marine Discoverer Centre are all part of the amazing collection of plants and animals that we share this amazing planet with that we call home. Yeah, that's right. So, off you go and have a great day.